Oops, did a bubble get in your eye? I'm not sorry. Is it burning? <laughs> Hello. Hey everyone, welcome back to channel. Today we are back. A blue bark. bark. Today I want to talk about my favorite Blockenburg features and my settings uh, in case anyone was wondering what kind of settings I run uh, to make my game look the way it is, which is not, you know, it's not, it's, it's pretty normal. Each of you guys have a different like experience when playing the game because most of you are probably mobile users or some of you might be playing on maybe a PC or a Mac. We all play on like different devices and such and I find that really interesting. Like some of you could be playing on an Xbox or some of you could be playing on, is it on PlayStation? I don't know. Obviously I always play on my computer uh so that's why it looks like this well i guess the first thing we can do is just go into my settings and look at everything so this is gonna be the fastest thing i think is just show you guys my settings so right now um this is what i have uh let's see who can here's my sound settings as you can see i muted the music because i don't want to listen to that that very traumatizing intro music that we all know about and it's I hear it all the time, so I had to mute it. And the build music as well. This works with the build music, which is nice. And yeah, so those are my sounds. Here are my graphic settings, if you were wondering. So of course, I actually have a uh, pretty pretty good computer. It was like 3,100 something dollars that I got last year. It's custom built. But yeah, these are all my settings. As you can see, house render is 10, other render is 10, weather, object, and NPC are all like high 10. I leave icon quality to auto because I actually don't know exactly what that is. Maybe it's like the literally icons or something. So I just left that auto. I think it's fine. But those are my graphic settings as well. Here's some other things like edge scrolling, roommate building, blah, 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 all those things. Oh yeah, show whose house. Actually, what is this? Show whose house. Huh? I actually don't know what that is. Vehicle physics? I never understood vehicle physics either, so that's why I never touched it. Um, so that's nice. My display names are also off, which I'm glad they added that too. All right, so yeah, those are all my settings in case you're wondering. And I guess my actual settings for Roblox is I always leave my volume at like one or three, sometimes four. My graphics quality is all the way up. Camera sensitivity is at four. I guess it says one, but it's at five. And I'm English. Ooh, look at all these languages here. Okay, cool. Very simple, easy. Those are my settings. Those are my the ones I choose to play with. The better computer you have or the beefier device you have, you can play on like higher, you know, quality and such. And actually, these do make quite a big difference. Obviously, they make a big difference. But if you have your graphics high quality, you can actually see a lot more details with some stuff. Like, you know, obviously plants, you see them start moving and such. They look more alive. You see like textures and whatnot. You see shadows. And I'm sure iPads are probably a lot better to play Blockburg on since bigger screen and also they're bigger. So they probably have like more storage or better chip, I should say. There's even some phones that actually do a pretty good job with playing the game so yeah it just all depends let's go ahead and go into my favorite features now so number one okay this was definitely a given you guys see me mess with this all the time but i really do love the free play camera which is only available in neighborhoods and it's only available on pc slash mac i don't know if mobile i don't think mobile users can do it i'm pretty sure they can't this is really good in a lot of ways because like if you're making like a cinematic role play or you're doing like a really cinematic like tour for a build it's perfect for that like show off builds better and such now this originally wasn't even like i don't think it's a block break feature it was supposed to be like a roblox a developer feature only devs could probably use it but i'm really glad like uh coeptus added it in just everybody that owned a neighborhood and also it's really nice that he made it available for, like if you have friends that join your neighborhood and want to also use the free play camera all you had to do was give them co-owner and you could use that feature so probably didn't have to add it in but uh, obviously for content creators and stuff it was a really great idea for him to give us that so if you're on pc or mac all you have to do is uh shift p those are the keys you need for it so there's that <laughs> okay the next feature i really enjoy and this is just for like novelty it's kind of just a silly thing i don't know why but if you if you do control shift x there's a little console that pops up and you can type in this is my favorite command i do this a lot you just type in face camera true and it just it makes your character look everywhere he looks straight at the camera as if he is just aware that we are messing with him nothing too wild but um that's what i like Control shift x um just another easter egg is if you type in mother load i'm sure once again once you know this um oh wow it makes a noise i didn't know that wait hold on let me do that if you type in mother load it makes the sound but says increase player funds just kidding 
<laughs> I wish. I wish that was a real thing. But uh, if you guys don't know what mother load is, it's just a Sims sort of uh, Easter egg. Because uh, if you were in, if you're playing Sims and you type in a cheat code, mother load, it would give you like fifty thousand dollars or simoleons. Technically called simoleons. We don't actually get to have that in the game. We don't. Because you have to work for it. Why can't we? Why can't we cheat our own money in? Why not? Why not? That's just a fun little thing. A little the console feature. I would call that. Um, so those are my two favorite commands. Getting into more of the actual features in the options menu here. So one of my favorite things is the neighborhood setting. It's pretty obvious though, like once you have your own neighborhood, you should be able to control your actual server with anything. But my specific favorite feature is the, it's like the allowed players option. So with this thing, it took me a while to actually understand what this did. Here allows you to add a player. You can type in their username or what? Let's say ID. Oh yeah, their user ID. So you don't even need their name. Um, if you type in their ID or username, it basically allows them to join your server without having them to be your friend. So right now I um, <laughs> I unfriended Red Boy Blockbird, which is my broke Blockbird life account. And I tested it and he was able to join without actually being my friend. But you have to make sure your who can join setting is on to friends. If you have it set to no one, this won't work at all. Luckily with some fun testing, um, you have to set it to friends and then you can allow whoever to join without them adding you and i think this is good for um people who want to do tours and stuff like if, if you don't want to add them <laughs> if you don't want to add somebody you can add them to your actual allowed players list and they'll be able to join without any problems you don't have to add each other just in case i don't know i never actually had to use it for like an actual purpose this one seems silly but i actually really like the fact that we can change our grass color like this i never thought about this like some people actually still don't know about this feature if you own a neighborhood like some of them leave their grass whatever default color whatever default color that the game currently has. So right now, if it's fall, it's gonna, your world's most likely gonna look like, oh yeah, your world's gonna mostly look like this. Some people are probably like, I wish I could change it. But yeah, it's really cool how you can actually change the color of your grass to anything you like. So I'm actually gonna search up the color red. If you go down to this RGB here, you can type in specific like numbers of a color that you want. All you have to do is Google up blue RGB, blue color RGB or something, and it would give you the exact values of what they should be. Um, so right now I'm gonna use red, so, 255 and then the rest are zeros and it makes my grass red and also makes my trees red everything is complete red so right now it just looks like i have a bloody server super bloody it looks really scary really terrifying like i said i didn't think about this at all like i never thought about this being a feature but i'm actually really glad it is i mean it makes sense as well like why wouldn't you be able to change your grass in your own world like have complete control of it so if you want the color white to match to make it look like there's snow in your world just type in all 255s and there you go it's officially winter. <laughs> Not really, because your texture, your ground texture is still grass. Uh, the default texture for snow is concrete. If you if you didn't know that, now you do. But um, I wish we could actually change the texture of it. That'd be kind of interesting. Imagine being able to have like color polka dot world. But I can imagine how like crazy that would actually be. How that would affect performance. But I can imagine it would do something, right? I don't know which is actually really interesting to think about. So in case you guys want to, you know, celebrate like winter or Christmas early, if you, here's the snow, I guess, white color, all 255. I actually might keep it. I guess I'll keep it like that. But yeah, that is my one of my other most favorite features in Blockbird. All right, and so the last feature, I know I actually kind of have a short list of things because most of the things are kind of just normal. They're, they're, they're kind of expected, so I don't really have like them favored. This was a fun thing that they added was the uh, show negative mood effects. I know, silly, right? Another silly favorite feature that I enjoy. This feature only works with the Marvelous Mood Game Pass, which is a 180 Robux. If you if you're wondering, but yeah, you can hide your stench. You see all the time in public service people working delivery, and they're so stinky. Like their moods are really bad, and their hygiene is really low. So you can always imagine how stinky they are. It's just great. Am I actually stinky right now? Oh, I am. Oh, let's let's turn that on. Show negative mood effects. Yes, look at that. Oh, and you can see yourself like walk slow too. I forgot it, it like disables the animation of like you being tired. So if you turn that off, yeah. Wait, that's so good. Oh, cause you are so much slower when you're like walking. Yeah. Wait, this is actually good because if you are like low energy, you still. I don't know if you walk the same speed. I don't know. I'm trying to determine whether or not I walk faster. It might, if, maybe it's the same. Maybe I'm just like actually walking normally. But yeah, that is cool. One of my favorite features, hides your stench and doesn't show that you're tired because those are negative things. Once again, another thing I didn't think about like to add in the game and they, they did that. So, and that's pretty much it. That sums up today's video, uh, my settings and my most absolute favorite Blockbrick features. 
that were added to the game. Let's talk about updates, okay? November update, I'm feeling it's kind of soon. I don't know. I don't know when the November update is going to happen. I mean, obviously, it's going to come out when it's ready. But I can't wait for the Halloween stuff to get taken out. It's just a feeling. Maybe I'm completely wrong. It probably is going to be like another week or two from now, knowing my luck. But but yeah, anyway, guys, that pretty much wraps up today's Blogberg episode. I uh, just wanted to share my settings in case you are curious. Uh, in case any of you wanted to use my settings, if you have a good mobile device or computer, make sure to give it a big old thumbs up and make sure you hit the subscribe button too because it is completely free. Let me know what your favorite features are in like actual Blockberg. But yeah, thank you guys for taking the time to watch this and I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye. Okay, I might I might go back to building pretty soon. It's been it's been a little over a week now. I might get back into building soon. Stay tuned. What would you like to see actually for my first build back in a little while?